Hey, what's going on, guys? Elsimander303 here, and welcome to another little Dokkan discussion. Um, PSA before we start this video that uh, Let's Play of Fortune Street is t taking a bit of time off for the moment because I want to, I mean, it's almost holiday season. I want to really get away to family purposes, so you're not going to be seeing one next week, so I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, but for the moment, we have got ourselves a little surprise. We've got a new... Dokkan vs Goku and Dokkan vs Kid Buu coming to the Japanese side of Dokkan Battle, which is cool. I actually really like this. Uh, I'm actually really excited to see what these guys are capable of. And um, really, just I'm really going to discuss the logistics of this unit that I these two units that I think will be available, and maybe some of the new uh, potentially some of the new uh, side units that might come with this. Um, I might I might go into brief detail about this one, but that one. But let, let's just go into um, let's go to Kid Buu first. So Kid Buu, we haven't had a Doka vs Kid Buu in some time. Now uh, you're probably wondering, is this going to be an LR Kid Buu? I'm going to take the initiative and say no, but you know it's not entirely off the table. I wouldn't say it's entirely off the table for this purpose because you know it's been like this for a while, but. I don't think he's going to be LR because I feel like they're only going to be going to TUR with this one. Goku, yes, yeah, same thing here, to be quite honest with you. So uh, we're going to go to Kid Buu first. Um, thinking about a typing for Kid Buu is interesting. I think, for my personal sake, he's going to be either STR or AGL. I'm more leaning towards STR for the moment because I feel like that would be the the smartest thing to do because AGL I mean I know AGL Kid Buu is the easy A for AGL Kid Buu is, is just terrible but I I I wouldn't say I doubt it Tick um, we just got a Tick Dokovist in the Android so that's pretty much off the table and then Int and Physical Kid Buu are still well Physical is kind of lackluster and then Int is still the best Kid Buu in the game which is weird to admit, because Kibu isn't exactly the most craziest unit ever. But it 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 has to be said. So um thinking about Kid Buu personally from a Dokon Fist standpoint, about a category leader they would run. Now I've got thoughts uh, now to True TT, I've already seen his video on what potentially Kid Buu's leader could be. He said regeneration could be one of them. I personally tend to think that's an agreeable argument. Like, I feel like a regeneration-based category would be really nice. Um, uh, but it's not exactly saying that's guaranteed. I mean, obviously, it's not guaranteed. But I I could definitely be wrong. But hmm, it, it's definitely hard to say personally. But Thinking about uh, the other category is a different story because here's a few things that we're going through. So I'm going to really go through these. Um, right off the bat, it's definitely not going to be legendary existent. It's never. It's not going to be any of these seven at the bottom here, like Majin Power, Planetary Destruction, Storied Figures, Legendary Existence, Sworn Enemies, Accelerated Battle Wars, like Turmoil. No, none of those. None at all. Um, I don't think it's going to be Majin Buu Saga. I don't think it's going to be Riz Warriors, probably, but that's not exactly entirely off the table. The most likely two are Transformation Boost and Artificial Life Forms, which sounds a bit stupid to me, but because, you know, this will be the third unit that's SDR tied to have Transformation Boost as a leader, which would sound a bit dumb, to be honest, but... So, really, leaning towards Artificial Life Forms is the main way to go. Go with this one, because, you know... A good STR type unit for artificial life forms would be really nice. I mean, looking at all the STR units that are available, like this guy is not really suited for this team. This guy's decent for defensive purposes. Sort of same thing with uh, Super Mira, kind of, because he greatly raises defense indefinitely. But. 
I, I'm not sure about that, personally, in my my opinion. Android 13's ECA is good. This guy's getting an ECA, which will make him the best STR unit out of all of them. This guy's decent. This guy's not good. And then sells okay, I guess. So yeah, having maybe an STR kid boot, maybe for artificial life forms, would probably be the best way to go. Because hey, an ST, a good STR unit on artificial life forms is definitely needed at the minute. So I feel like that would be okay. But it's not to say transformation boost is off the table. Because if it's transformation boost, then kid boo is AGL. No doubt about that. Because uh, I doubt they're going to make a third leader of transformation boost um, STR type. So that's my that's my case argument. So if if it's artificial life forms or anything other than transformation boost, then it's then he's STR. If he's transformation boost leader, most likely he's AGL. So that's what that's my case. Um, and for a side unit for for Kid Boo, God, I have no idea. Um, this is definitely a tougher decision because you don't really have much that you have from Kid Boo itself. Um, my initial thought is maybe a Majin Boo. Like, someone like this guy. Like, like this, a good Majin Boo. Maybe. I, I can't say for sure that's what's going to be the case, but... It's not like that's completely off the table because, you know, a good Majin Buu maybe to go along with Kid Buu is probably the only thing I could see, but I don't really know. Um, Evil Buu maybe, but don't like don't like that argument. It's probably not gonna be you, not gonna be you because you just got your LR. It's not gonna be you because they've already got a side unit. Buhan could be, but I'm not gonna say for sure. Then this guy. Majin Buu South Supreme Kai would probably be a really good other unit for this team because honestly, he, that would be the best case scenario. And have him like maybe AGL or Int type, that would probably be really cool to see that. So that's that's my say, personally, because we haven't got much of South Supreme Kai. I mean, then again, this guy here, still he's, he's still decent. And... I mean, raising defense for one turn, greatly raising de lowering defense, and, you know, for how much he's doing, I would say that's he's still good, but, like, a new one of these guys, and maybe supporting the new category would probably be the best benefit here. That's my that's my idea of a side unit for, this, for him, personally. So now we move on to Goku. Oh, boy. <laughs> Man. If there's ever a time to see a Super Saiyan 3 Goku Dokkan Fest back in the game, it's about time we get it. Because honestly, this damn event has, surpassing all, has not been around for ages and ages and ages. Like, getting a Super 2 version of this this level would just be the coolest thing ever. Because honestly, like, that would be so cool. And um, judging from what I see from Goku, he's probably going to be a transformation unit. As for Kid Buu, he's probably going to have an active skill that just gives him a buff in stats where he does like the, the chest bump sort of thing, as you're probably hearing on the mic there. That's more so what I'm, what I'm going to say is the best case scenario. I don't want to be too sure about it, but um, that's my thought process with this um probably should get that out of the way first but yeah super saiyan goku i think he's gonna awaken into maybe super saiyan 2 then have the super saiyan 3 transformation where he does against kibu um like the one here where all the electricity sparks are going around him and then he's just like boom super saiyan 3 lands on the pillar and it's just like oh that's such a good scene that would be so cool uh, as for Super Saiyan 3 Goku himself, as a standalone unit, he's kind of dealing with a lot of things here. Um, for my for my initial thought on what to 
give him as a leader? Ooh, that's tough, but I have no clue, to be quite honest with you, because, like, it's it's difficult to really say for sure, like, what you would expect with a Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, he's definitely not going to be one that does Dragon. He's going to have, like, a Super Kamehameha, like... Attacks, so he's probably gonna be like on the Kamehameha team. Uh, as a overall leader, I'm not entirely certain. He's gonna be Majibu Saga, Super Saiyan 3, Pure Saiyans, not full power, not a movie heroes because it's gonna be from DBZ. Um, hmm, I say might be like. Turtle School would be really good because, like, Turtle School hasn't got, like, a super official leader yet. And I'm really hoping we get one soon because the best one is, randomly enough, is is this guy. Which, I feel like that's a bit of a bummer at this point, but you never really know. Um, But my main final decision was probably Final Trump Card because... The thing with Final Trump card is, like, I know this guy has it, and that's probably a little bit of a stupid idea. But I feel like Final Trump card would be really nice because it's the it's the last stand against Kid Boo. Like, it's the last thing he has up his sleeve at this point. That would be really cool. Like, against Kid Boo, against all odds. That would be really cool. As for a new category, that's a tougher decision because, you know, you have you literally don't have much option. For what you need, but hmm. I would say maybe like here's the thing, like sworn enemies is a thing. So it's like like true hero, like the the hero of the arc in some case, because this could be like similar like here's here's the things i would think about this like true hero like it's gonna be including units like gohan for example like super saiyan 2 gohan it's probably gonna include units like super saiyan 4 goku super saiyan 4 vegeta and in turn maybe also super saiyan 4 gogeta as well like heroes of the arc like ui goku is another good one for this like, like, it's just, like, the big hero in, like, the certain arc, so it would be, like, it would be, like, that, essentially, is what I'm thinking it's gonna be. But it's, it's tough to say, really, considering it's Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I won't be too sure on that one. But I'm really hyped to see a new Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I'm hyped to see Surpassing All event come back. Because it really needs to come back. Um, Yeah, that's pretty much my main analysis on this. Because, like, it's tough to really decipher everything. Like, I don't know what their typings are yet. Like, I, don't, I mean, they're probably not going to have any of confirms yet. But, man, I'm excited to see what they're capable of. I might do a reaction on their... Uh, animations if I'm not uh, if they're not um, finished by the time uh, I'm around with family because if I'm not around family then I'm probably going to be not around for that I'm I am going to be taking a few weeks off for the for the family holidays so yeah because Christmas is coming around and all that but you know the, this is still pretty exciting still to see so I might just tweet out my reactions as well so um, make sure to Go see my Twitter in the description below. But yeah, that's pretty much my analysis of the Goku and Kid Buu. I'm really excited to see what they're like. Um, subscribe for more and like the video. Share the video with friends. Comment. Whatever you need to do. And yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in a future video. Peace out.